Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Switzer Lake in Europa Universal 4. So bear with me, it's been a weekend and I don't remember exactly what I was doing. I do remember that we have a coalition, and I do remember that we are having some issues with aggressive expansion with a few countries. So I believe this war was to knock out Venice from the coalition. Florence as well, if I'm not mistaken. At least Venice. Just Venice. Okay, and we're going to humiliate them to get our power projection back up so we can enjoy some juicy monarch point generation. Uh, we're also working on quality ideas. We have some quality education so far. The most vital moment of any army's existence is straight after a battle. Win or lose, exhausted troops are most vulnerable. We must ensure that our troops are ready for combat before the opposition is. Key. Okay. I don't really know what army tradition has to do with uh, that. Sounds like morale recovery to me, but okay. Sure. So, um, an example to us all. As the army is starting to enjoy the fruits of our increased favor, many young officers are looking for opportunities to distinguish themselves. One captain in particular stands out. He even cuts a striking figure. Good stuff. Alright, that's cool. So we just, out of nowhere, gained uh, a grand captain that is an advisor. Grand captain? Is that you? That's commandant. Grand captain. Quartermaster. Military engineer. Is he, is he not what I thought he was? Gain a grand captain. I'm confused now. I should have looked at the name that, like, popped up, you know, like the guy who had arrived. Well, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. We're not going to hire the guy anyway, so. Right, but we're going to take down this siege. Um, then we're going to wait for this thing to come back, and then we're going to go for this thing. Because right now the issue is that uh, we don't have enough individual war score against Venice to piece him out. We have quite a bit occupied, but that blockade is going to prevent us from ever being able to get, in, get into there. France has just annexed Lorraine. France, our rival, who's allied with our ally. It's okay, we'll, we'll, we'll beat him up eventually. Danish of Austria, your faithful allies, request you come to their aid in the Danish conquest of Hamburg against Denmark, Sweden, Norway, Mecklenburg, and Muscovy. Okay, sure. I'm all for that. Let's do this. We've won the Siege of Istria. Well, that was pretty, pretty lucky. Supply limit here is only 25, and he's already got 26k troops there, but he doesn't have very many cannons. Um, I guess we're going to suffer a little bit of attrition with our cannons, and so just forward 6 to get an extra 3 bonus. He already has a siege leader. We only have 1 siege pip leaders. Um, this war, I think, is going to be very one-sided. I'm not really sure why Denmark would declare, considering how many people are willing to support it. Looks like France just dropped their embargo of us. We'll wait until probably January to bring back our one of our diplomats to kind of assess the situation. Looking forward to our Space Marines. It's too bad you won't let me be the one who's in charge. It's also too bad that it doesn't take the average of, like, here's how I would do it if it was my game, right? This is, this is why I really feel like, okay, this is kind of a side topic, but one day, maybe, when I become rich and famous and I have enough money to pay for my kids college and all that stuff and I can just do what I want to do whatever I want to do you never know something in the back of my mind that I've been thinking about for a few like months or even a year or two now is I would really like to make a game I don't even know what game it would be yet I just would like to be involved with making a game and being a little bit more in control of how things are developed and being able to say that this is how it should be and like being a perfectionist and like being really stubborn about how it has to be perfect you know that kind of thing anyways I thought Here's what I would do, is in this situation, um, we clearly have much superior siege speed, right? We have siege ability plus 32%, and this guy, the Papal State, does not. The Papal State siege ability is only 3.2%. So what it should do is it should just take, okay, well, there's, uh, what's the total unit weight? There are 23,000, 26,000 from them and 6,000 from me. So take 23,000 out of the total and multiply that by their siege speed, and take 6,000 out of the total and multiply my, by my siege speed and give us the average. Whoever has the majority of troops here should be the one providing the damn siege speed, not just whoever freaking arrived first. This whole, I arrived first, therefore I have complete control over everything, it's just stupid. It's annoying. Um, especially if they've got like really bad, bad tactics, and the tactics slow down their siege speed, or they've got, you know, high war exhaustion or something. Like, it should just factor in all of the armies. Anyway, 
Hell, they could even make it interesting, like shake things up. I don't know if this is a good idea, it's just off the top of my head. But what if you use the ratio of whoever puts the most troops there to determine who wins the siege? Maybe it could be random. Maybe it's, I have 25% of the troops, so I have a 25% of chance of being the one who takes control of the siege. Instead of it just being first come, first serve. Or maybe, maybe that's a bad idea. I don't know. But we should test it. We should try it both ways and see which way we like better. You never know, it could be better. But you gotta try it first. Right? It's just my opinion, man. So we have a really nice force limit, but... We don't have a lot of manpower. We've been using quite a few mercs. Could always forward one extra cannon to get this up to five bonus. Might make all the difference. I'm getting this war to end here pretty quickly. Looks like we can't quite make it in time for the next siege tick. Six days? Be there in eight days. So, yeah, let's not worry about it for now. Clevis has formed a personal union with Frankfurt. And nobody cares. <laughs> I'd love for the Wurzburgian separatists to fire while we're at war. That would pretty much guarantee that Austria would help out. Uh, we're gonna obviously have very, very little participation in this war because we're not gonna, not gonna go do anything. I mean, this is ridiculous. Denmark declares on basically almost all of Europe. And somehow he feels like that's a good idea. You know, it, it wouldn't hurt you here, uh, Papal State, to just pull a couple infantry off or something so we weren't so far over the force limit. I'm just saying it's an idea. Come on. With the disease outbreaks and the disease... Good thing is we're gaining prestige. We're about to get free stability from our mission. That will help out. Anytime we can pick up those missions, I think that's a good thing. Okay, don't just abandon my cannons, dude. That's rude. Okay, so uh, it's well into the next year. Let's go ahead and bring this guy back. Let's uh, recall the diplomats here and here. Let's go see what we can do with um, Venice. Venice has we have 26 war score. Their blockades are kind of annoying. Blockade of Istria. Uh, he's not- I need him to accept the Humiliate. That's- that's really what it comes down to. So we're gonna have to do this engagement here. It's in the Grasslands. Uh, let's wait. Would you please engage him? Just go- go and engage him. Our best leader is a 3-3. Well, let's time it then. So, um... Takes about 8 days. Let's wait until, like, the 25th? March both armies will arrive into the next month. Uh, let's actually wait one more day here. I'd rather not risk it being on the first and suffering that attrition tick. It could happen. Okay, d d d dudes. Dudes that don't like us. So Venice we don't care about. Memmingen. Um, improve with them slightly. Ulm. We'll work on them for a bit now. Let's go do this fight, see if we can knock, knock Venice into acceptance. Carl? We're counting on you, Carl. You're fighting against 1-4 generals. Wait, he's trying to move into Laika? We're already locked, but it would have been nice if you'd let me do that. And, uh, the Pope is, is following it up. He's, he's coming to join us. Our 20% infantry combat ability, 3.8 morale, better tactics, better discipline, no cav combat ability, not facing any infantry combat ability. We have more cannons. We also rolled an 8. Just about everything that could go better is going better. We rolled a 5 versus a 0. Beautiful. 6 versus a 1. Oh, glorious. Feels so good. We actually gained 1.19 prestige from that fight. That's like the most I've seen. Do you remember when you used to be able to get like 10 prestige from every battle? God. That was crazy, man. Make England like us. Is it possible? It is not likely. Uh, on the other hand, protect against France, have 67 troops, we can do that. Currently we're at 51. Alright, well yeah, we're not going to be able to reinforce. Let's do a shift consolidate then, so we have full, um... Full strength regiments. Squish. Okay, um... 
Level 2 fort. Take 10 cannons plus a siege leader. Let's grab these guys, split in half, pull some off, go do some looting. Looting and pillaging. Feels pretty risky keeping the cannons independent like this, but uh, Mr. Pope Man doesn't want to give up control. Hey, Bohemia has become Protestant. Well, they were rivaled to us, but now they are one of the few, the proud, the Protestant. I was going to say the Marines, but you know, that's it's the United States thing. Talk about propaganda, right? The few, the proud, the Marines. Like, they're just, they're just trying to sell you on becoming a Marine. That's what they are. Trying to glorify being, being part of it. Which I guess is fine. I mean, at least in that case, you're actually advertising to people who can recruit. You know what I do take issue with? I actually do take issue with the Pledge of, Pledge of Allegiance. I feel like that is, um... That is like indoctrinating children. How is that any different than like, I don't know, some Muslim country trying to get people to, um, to like, become nationalistic and like, like, I mean, there's, there's okay, it's, it's okay to have pride for your country. I think it's completely different to be, um, I don't know, brainwashed at the age of like five in high, in, 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 in elementary school and stuff. Because the kids don't know what they're doing, but they're, they're being trained at a very, very young age to just have an un unfounded patriotism. I don't know. My wife being from Colombia, like, she's always said, I love my country. And that's fine. I love my country too. But that doesn't mean that um, my country always does the right thing or that my country is always, always going to be correct. You can't just be blindly patriotic. That's, that's... If your country's doing things that are not right, then you should... Or war with Denmark. Okay, right. That's fine. We were, we were just trying to get the Union over Scandinavia. I really don't care. We don't need allies. We're too strong. Soon we're going to have pseudo-space marines in the year, like, 1550s, so... I think it'll be alright. What yet again, somehow, the Papal State here is, is the leader, and we're missing out on our glorious siege speed. Ugh. It's disgusting. So, Aachen is at uh, plus 49 opinion. Looks like we should be able to knock them out of this war here. Or out of the coalition, rather. They should leave once they get above 50. They're not allowed to stay enraged above 50. We're not enraged. <laughs> Outraged. Totally different thing. We should, I'm hoping, have enough individual war score now to piece this guy out. Let's wait until December. France is annexed to Trier. Alright, Venice. I'm expecting you to give me Humiliate plus War Reps. I only get 20 to the ducats, that's fine. Uh, we'll lose the church power, thank you. Florence will cede Ferrara, Siena, and Urbino to the Papal State. Wow. Was it a separate piece that he just did? It looks like it may have been. Yeah, because he has his capital fort back now. Why would you do that, dude? I was about to peace out. I believe I had called him in on favors, too. Well, we can't, uh, can't really afford to take any land here. I mean, I would like Cremona. Can we take Cremona? We could totally take Cremona, right? Mines, Ulm, Savoy. We have a truce with Savoy, we have a truce with Venice, we have a truce with Florence. Let's just do it, let's take a little bit of land. He's not willing to give us anything right now, because this guy peaced out. Alright, well. Don't worry, Akin, you're about to join the coalition again. Kind of annoying that these are going to fall. I don't think we can make it there in time. Yeah. Oh, hey. Great. Nobles are worried. Well, thanks, nobles. Just random stability. I mean, come on. Who's keeping count? Someone's keeping count, right? The number of stability hits. Just the random stability hits that I take in this campaign. The number is getting very high. It's got to be at least like seven or eight. Maybe even more.
Influence is coming down for these guys. What do we have as far as these guys go? We have a level 3 guy who is, I believe, half price. Yeah. They're all cheap except for the military guy. So we're doing fine there. Is there anything else we could ask of the clergy? Ask these guys for a contribution. Sure. And these guys are really pissed. Let's go ahead and spend a little bit of prestige. How much longer do they are they going to be up there? In 29, they lose 20%. But I'm going to want to grant another generalship. In 38. Alright, well, we'll do it anyway. I'd like to get some manpower back. Oh my god. Are you serious? I just solved this problem. Alright, well, would I, would I trade base tax, which is just money, money and force limit, for manpower. Money can be used for manpower, effectively, by buying mercs. I feel like development is just better, though, in the long run, isn't it? Fine, you know what? Screw you guys. You don't want to be happy? Fine. Go to hell. Put our highest maneuver character here. Try to avoid some attrition. Don't quite have enough cannons there. People say I'm not unhappy with you. Having left the war. You're making this difficult for me. More difficult than it needed to be. Now he's trying to actually put together an army. You know? And, and I take issue with that. Mines. Salzburg. We can get some opinion here. Hmm. Wow. He's very defensive. Increased defensive and hills. Oh well, we're still getting the full benefit from the siege value. I mean... It's still saving us, what is it, six days. Like, no matter what. So... I think it's fine. I just like it better when we have like 20 day siege sticks. Those are fun. We need the worst Bergians to fire. Right. So. Just gonna pull half the troops back. I'd really, I'd really prefer to not suffer any attrition right now. Well, as little as we can. That being said, we have Merc Infantry here. Pull these guys back. Pretty cannon heavy now, but <laughs> it's trying to make me lose even more stability. Not gonna happen. I'm very curious how he... are you like, okay, he's using his boats. I, I was like, what are you... how are you doing this? Are you... You somehow training land... training troops in Savoy? It's very strange. Stop it. Boats confuse us. Don't you understand? Right. Okay, I'm gonna take a break here, and in the next episode, I'm expecting we're probably gonna make the coalition bigger. It'll be fun. So, thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.